Um, anybody know what BHAG stands for? Big hair. Good. Big hairy. What's the AG? Anybody know? This is a uh, this is something that um, I've learned in a couple of different like uh, careers um, uh, that's that's stuck with me. Um, but it's big, hairy, audacious goal. So you'll you might see that term somewhere else. Um, so September seventh is our next meeting. So a lot of times we meet here and we just go, hey, what do we want to see happen between? here in September 7th, and how do we want to work together, and how do we not want to work together, and just what does it look like? Um, so I think the first thing that we always like to do is just kind of step back and go, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing with our lives, right? I mean, we spend a lot of time doing what we're doing. And so I think it's, for me, I'm always asking the question, is this how I want to spend my life? Because whether you say you're, you're a gambler or not, we're all gamblers. We're all gamblers. We're gambling every single day because we're saying, this is how I'm going to spend my time. Right? This is how I'm going to spend my money. And I'm betting that this is the best way to do it. Right? So we got to just stop and go, what are we doing? So this is what we're doing at Front Door Fitness. We want to help more people achieve significant fi fitness progress in 12-week increments than any other company in Kansas City. That's what we're doing. Very high level. And if you kind of break it down a little bit, you say, well, what does that look like, you know, in just break it down a little bit. Let's go one year out. One year out, I think it's realistic and challenging. I think it's a good goal to say, a hundred significant fitness stories every month. A hundred of what we just had here today in a month. The other thing is to donate more personal training than any other company in Kansas City. And this is something that's new. Our service is awesome. You just heard two people talk about how awesome our service is and how awesome their trainers are, and we hear that all the time. It's expensive service. And to give it away, to find a way to give away our training, um, I believe in it. And so I know a lot of you do too, just through other conversations. And to, be, to give away something that you do better than any other company, I think, is something that we should be. I want you to just think of a name right now in your head because <clears throat> two people were honored today with their client stories, Wayne and Josh. But I just want you to stop for like 60 seconds and just think of one significant fitness story that you've impacted in the last 12 weeks. Just put that name in your head. Who's your name, Dustin? Just first name. Uh, I mean, I think Ryan. Good. Yeah. Good. Who's first name for you, Kristen? Paul. Paul? How about you, Blake? Uh, Michelle Walker. Good. How about you, Leah? Me. Lisa? Mallory. Sarah? Uh, Now do the same exercise with a name that you'd love to give either your service away to for 12 weeks. You're getting paid for it by the company. But who would you love to just go give that same level of success that you just named to? Think of a name. It could be somebody you don't know. Maybe you just met them. Maybe you know of them because a friend of a friend or somebody that popped up on a Facebook thing. And maybe it wouldn't be you training them, but maybe you would know, hey, if Jessica could train them, you know, or if Jacob or if anybody from our organization could train them, who would that name be? 
For me, it would be a guy named Ken. <clears throat> um, and I might not even share the story, <laughs> just to keep myself from um, getting choked up. And I'll let other people go with a, um, a name. Who would be a name that you'd love to give our service away to? Josh? Uh, Lynn. Blake? Uh, Scott <laughs> <laughs> Kristen? <laughs> Amy? <laughs> Leah? <laughs> Tom? Lisa? Kelly? Ellie? Ellie? Good. And this is the business that we're in. It's just a new life business. That's what we do. You can call it training. You can call it exercise. You can call it accountability. You can call it, you know, fitness wishes. You can call it a lot of things, but from a very high level, this is what it is. That's what people were talking about today. It's just a new day. It's a new day. So I just think it's good to step back and go, how am I spending my life at a very high level? The next question you have to ask is, what is the approach to this organization to giving away and to providing a lot of that new life? Every company has a different way. So you might attach yourself to some other organization that has the same slide right here. But the how? How they do it, it might be different. This is how we do it. If we were to boil it down to three things, it'd be these three things. You get the right people on the bus. Talent. You give pretty good goals. It doesn't have to be like exact, but just give them some good direction. And this is, again, this comes from a company meeting we had a couple years back where everybody was together, and we just said, for significant progress to happen, how much do they have to meet with the right people or do what the right people tell them to do? It's five plus. If you do five workouts or more, whether it's the workout that Josh provides face-to-face or if it's the workout that the client does because Josh held them accountable and got them into routine, but five plus. Homework plus FDF. That's our approach. Very high level. You have to go, when you're you're giving your life away, as you are, when you're gambling, you have to go, what is the delivery system? This is our delivery system. And if you you don't 100% buy into it, I don't think we ever will, but if you just say, yeah, directionally, I like that way, we're in good shape. And you have to say, how are we doing with our performance of that delivery system? Here's one thing that's happened in the last, and this will show in a minute, but in four or five years, results have declined. Hear this carefully. Quantity-wise, the arrow would look like this. But as a per client to uh, proven results ratio, it is going down a little bit. And this is happening over a long period of time. But if you looked at 100 clients that were with us five years ago and 100 clients with us now, there'd be a lower percentage with that proven success. Not much, but it's enough to go, hey, this is the business we're in. Hold on. That can't be something that starts to decline. So you go back to the three-pronged approach. Right people on the bus, good direction, five-plus sessions. Let's look at that and go, which one is off? Right people. Definitely. We've never had a more right team. Never. I just actually made one more change this morning in our team. I let them go because it wasn't, we weren't on the same page. Not a bad person, but we, you will see this organization looks a lot different today than it did three months ago. It's because we believe so much in that picture, the right people on the bus. And we made all the changes that we wanted to make 
before today because it was that season that we believed we needed to go with. Some people chose not to be here because they didn't agree with it. Good people. Or they just didn't like that overall mission. Rachel Meyer, fabulous trainer, chose to go to the urban core and do some nutrition urban farming full time. She chose a different direction. Still talked to her the other day, all the time. I was over at her house the other day. There's other people who we've said, you know what? It is clear that we just don't match up with how we're going to get there. They agree that the results is, are big, but just how we're going to get there, not going to do it. So we just went different directions. And like I said, we even made one more change this morning. We've got the right people. We've got the right goals for the most part. <clears throat> Your clients don't always hit the same fitness wish that was set for them. And this is a great thing that Sarah Flogel has talked with us about. She said, hey, you know, can there be a way to bonus when there's meaningful progress? And I'm, I'm changing the wording a little bit, but it's not always that they want to do something, improve something on the fitness navigator that's one of those metrics. It's a great point. It's not about those individual metrics. It's just about a good goal and meaningful progress. So how can we celebrate that meaningful progress, whether it was in that little box at the top or not? That's a big question that we're saying we need to have an answer to that. Because you all, when you go out and you have 12 weeks that are awesome, and because it doesn't fit that box, but it was still the client would say meaningful progress, enough to continue for three months. Should you get a bonus? Yes. Because if you go back to our mission, it's the meaningful progress thing. So that's something that's going to change. And I want you to know that. The only other thing that's going down when you look at our, our, our strategy overall, when you look at how many times our clients are training per week is the client number of workouts. I'm talking total, not just FDF training sessions, but their total number of workouts. Those are the only two lines that show this consistency that where we say, how do we get that line going back up? When we see something like that, when we see a gap like that, we go for it. That, this organization is going to go for the gaps. If we see the gap in a strategy, we're going to say, how do we work on that? How do we improve it? This is a little bit more like in-depth look at what, it, what five plus looks like. This bottom line is the one I want you to look at. Uh, this is five workouts a week per client. This is the goal. This is what the organization talked about years ago as being that number of workouts that a client should get for meaningful progress in 12 weeks. We've surveyed over and over and over again, and this line hasn't changed, this one. It's kind of zero to one. Do you know what that is? Anybody take a guess on what one time a week is? It's the number of times our clients train on their own, on average. Zero to one. It's closer to one, the average is, and it hasn't changed. You might have some clients that are training a couple times on their, I'm just saying average overall. And this line right here is our session utilization over the last five years. In 2006, our average utilization with a client was three sessions. It was three sessions a week. And it's about half of that now. So again, we go, if there's a gap, let's go after it. Let's go fix it. 